Welcome to FPA 209 Public Administration and Public Relations, Juries of Mass Communication, and Agenda Setting Jury. This is Professor Raymond S. Makatanga, an MPA student of Taguig City University, and also a Dean of the College of Computer Studies, Professor Tree at Our Lady of Fatima University. My topic is all about agenda setting jury under the juries of mass communication. Introduction. Agenda setting is one of the most important media juries of the present times. The concept of agenda setting took its name from the idea that the mass media have the ability to carry the salience items of their news agenda and their transfer to the public agenda. Usually journalists deal with the news in several important ways. Agenda setting claims that audiences obtain their salience from the issues from the news media, incorporating similar sets into the, in their own agendas. Agenda setting describes the transmission of these saliencies as one of the most important aspects of mass communication. The news media not only inform us about the world at large, giving us major elements for our pictures of the world. They also influence the prominence of these elements in these pictures. Researchers have shown that more headlines a certain topic receives via media, the more the people find it important. Let's go to the historical background. Walter Lippmann in 1922, in his concept agenda, in his public opinion argued that the mass media creates images of events in our minds and that policymakers should be aware of those pictures in the people's heads. On the other hand, Cohen, Bernard Cohen in 1963 observed that press may not be successful of the time in telling people what to think, but it is stunningly successful in telling its readers what to think about. It follows about this that the world looks different to different people, depending not only on their personal interest, but also on the map that is drawn by them, by the writers, the editors, the publishers of papers that they read. McCombs and Shaw in 1972 conducted a study of media's role in the 1968 presidential campaign in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. In this study, they found that media were highly influential in telling readers and viewers what to think about when they coined a term agenda setting to describe this process. Let's go to the assumptions of agenda setting jury. That there are two basic assumptions of agenda setting jury. Number one, the press and media do not reflect reality they filter and shape it. The second one is media concentration on few issues and subject leads the public to perceive those issues as important as any other issue. In this area, we are now discussing about the types of agenda setting. Rogers, Deering, and Bregman in 1991 gave a three types of agenda setting, namely media agenda, public agenda, and policy agenda. The media agenda is the set of topics addressed by media sources like newspapers, television, and radio. Public agenda is the set of topics that the members of the public believe that is important. Lastly, the policy agenda represents issues that decision makers believe are particularly silent. Example of this would be legislators and those who 
influence the legislative process. Each of the three agendas can be seen as a dependent variable in casual equation. As in public agenda setting, the public agenda is dependent variable. In media agenda settings, media's agenda is treated as dependent variable. And in policy agenda setting, elite policy makers agenda is the dependent variable. The consideration of these three processes defines agenda setting theory and research in a broad scope. Traditionally, these three areas had been purview of different academic disciplines. For example, investigation of public agenda setting process has been undertaken by mass communication researchers. Policy agenda setting has been considered by political scientists and media agenda setting has been largely the purview of sociology. Let's go to the agenda setting theory under the levels of agenda. There are two levels of agenda setting. The first level enacts the common subjects that most important, while the second level decides the parts of the subject that are important. The first level deals with the objects on the media and public agendas. This is traditional domain of agenda setting research in which the media are seen as influencing what issues are included on the public agenda. The second level considers the attributes of these objects. At this level, media not only suggests that the public should think about also the influence how people should think about the issue. For example, an examination of the first level agenda setting might conclude that media coverage of welfare reform has set the topic as an agenda item for the public. The second level agenda setting would argue that the media also present this issue in a particular ways that might be in favor of the welfare reform or against the welfare reform. Framing. Framing is a process through which the media emphasize some aspects of reality and downplay other aspects. Framing can be conducted through consideration of particular subtopics to the size of placement of news item, narrative form, and tone of presentation and the particular details included in the media coverage. According to Shuffle, framing influences how audiences think about issues, not by making aspects of the issue more salient, by invoking the interpretive schemes that influence the interpretation of incoming information. The basis of framing theory is that the media focuses attention on certain events and places them in a field of meaning. Framing is an important topic since it can be a big influence and therefore the concept of framing expanded to organizations as well. News media frame all news items by emphasizing specific values, facts, and other considerations and endowing them with a greater apparent applicability for making related judgments. News media promotes particular definitions, interpretations, evaluations, and recommendations. Framing involves social construction of social phenomenon by mass media sources, political or social movements, political leaders, and other actors and organizations. In the essence, framing theory suggests that how something is presented to the audience through frame, which influences the choice that make how to process the information. Frames are abstractions that work to organize or structure the message meaning. Priming can be defined as the aspect, the effects of particular prior context and retrieval and explanation of information. 
priming provides explanation for the psychological processes that support the agenda setting effect. That is when the media accord a great deal of space and time to certain issues. These issues become particularly accessible and prominent in the individual's cognitive structure. These prime topics will be then considered especially important to, to individuals. Furthermore, because humans have limited information processing capabilities, these prime topics will serve as the analyzing other particular ambiguous information. And this becomes the second level agenda setting. Amount of time or space given by media. Of course, we also have critics of agenda setting theory. Some scholars do not even believe that agenda setting is a theory, preferring to call it as a model, a term more modest than the term theory. Scholars have noted that an ambiguity exists about the level of effect, the nature of effect, and the mechanism through which effect occurs. Insufficient theory and lack of specification in terms of long-term and short-term agenda setting effects. The lack of agreement between conceptual and operational definitions among researchers causing ambiguity to cloud the results. Ambiguity in terms of methodology, especially service studies in which casual direction is not clear. Thank you for listening. These are my reference and see you again in the next topic. Thank you.